they send us a website and then we basically run it through our API and send it back to them, you know, in, in, in hundreds of milliseconds and basically say, okay, is there drainer code on this site? Is this a scam site? Is this been mm. reported as a scam site? Et and run through all of those checks. And that's one that really applies everywhere, right? It applies to social media platforms. It applies to Discord. It applies anywhere that someone can post a link and have a scam. Because what you'll see very frequently, you'll have folks that will wash trade a given collection, right? And in order mm-hmm. to increase the popularity. And then once it gets into a top list, then they'll swap out the URL for a scam URL and then get a bunch of folks to go to that scam URL to try and mint an NFT or claim an NFT. URLs are a major, mm-hmm. and, and, and websites in particular are a major threat vector. And that's something that we look at all the time. A piece of advice, number one, if you're, if you are trading NFTs, if you are um, interacting with mint sites, et cetera, is be very, very certain that you're on the right website because that's like, that, that's the first scam vector. If you can be sure that you're on a legitimate NFT marketplace or you're on the legitimate mint site, um, mm-hmm. that's going to go a long way towards protecting you.